Hi, I'm Matt from Avalites. I'm the AI sales engineer here at our London headquarters, and today we're going to be going through media clip properties in AI. If you haven't seen any of our previous videos, I definitely recommend going and checking them out on YouTube first, uh, as we're going to be covering things in a bit more depth than what we have done in the previous videos. But it's good to have that base level of knowledge. So, in our main performance page, as we've seen before, you can play media clips by clicking on a tile and having them play on a layer. We talked in the previous video about how you can use the layer controller to change your properties of the media playing in that layer. But today we're going to talk about how to go in to change each clip property for each individual clip so that when it plays in the layer, it plays with those properties. So, if we go into our first clip here, we can right click it and we get into this window here. This gives you a preview of what the clip is doing based on how you are changing the parameters. So similar to how we've done layer control in the previous video, we can change color here. We can change things like brightness, contrast, gain, saturation, even brightness and we can crop the video left, right, add a little bit of soft edge, and if all else, we can default back to zero. The other interesting things start to happen on the left-hand side here. We can give our clip a label. You can see if I enter that in that box there, when I go back to this by right-clicking, you can see the label in your media bank. So that's incredibly useful if you need to label your tiles. Uh, you can also go in and manually change which ArtNet address it's using. By default, it will load them in uh, 0 to 255 as you drag and drop the clips in. You can toggle that A to see what the ArtNet address is currently for your clips. If we go back in, you've got media speed, so you can speed up or slow down your clip or reset it there. And at the bottom here, you may have noticed that you've got the timeline for the clip. So you can scrub back and forth. You've got a current time and total time. And in brackets there, you've got the frame rate of this clip. So in this case, we're running at 25 frames per second. You can also see the file name, the resolution, and how the media has been encoded. So in this case, we're using AIM SuperStream which is the recommended clip properties. Uh, it may be larger file size, but it runs most reliably on the machine. We also have some other things on the left-hand side. We'll cover these in more detail in a later video, but some of note are the follow-on actions. Now this allows you to go from clip one clip to another clip in your media bank. And if you hit F1, you get to the user manual of AI. And there's a really helpful guide in here for follow-on actions. So you can, using these commands, you can have clips follow on to either the first clip in the media bank, last, up, down, left, right, random, or go to a specific clip. In this case, we're going to use the write command. So once this clip has finished playing, in our main performance page. We can scrub across to there. What will happen is it will automatically move on to that second clip, as you just saw. Um, there's also things in here for in-frame and out-frame. You can decide if you need to cut it a couple seconds off the start of your video or the end of your video. You can do that there. Uh, and you've got a lot of options for things like buddy group, fixture lock, layer lock, but we'll cover that in a later video. Finally, the last thing in this properties window are the different play modes, and these will automatically load based on your clip properties. So at the moment, we just have a loop going on. If I just shorten the length of this clip so we can see what's happening, at the end of every video, it loops back to the beginning. We can change that to play once, where it will pause at the end, play backwards, just hold a frame, uh, or boomerang back and forth. So that is pretty much all you need to know for now about clip properties in the media bank. If you'd like to know more, 
go to our website or have a look at our other videos. See you guys soon.